We are happy to welcome today the spokesperson of the Arab League, Nassif Iti. Thank you for answering our question uh, to uh, for I24 News. Uh, this week concerning Syria really sounds crucial. We have an offensive speech held by President Obama, John Kerry, is Secretary of State, but they are still waiting for the result of the U.S., the vote of the U.S. Congress. At the same time, you have François Hollande, who is ready to go, but who is the hostage of the American decision at the Congress. You have some Arabic countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Turkey, ready to go and face Bashar al-Assad's regime. How do you view the evolution of the situation? Uh, I think, uh, as, as an observer, of uh, uh, Western decision-making system, it's very complex and, and, and complicated, particularly to adopt resolutions uh, or decisions uh, concerning uh, an action, a military action that might slip into a war, might or might not slip uh, uh, into, uh, into, into war, I say as an observer of, of, of this situation, because there are always repercussions at home and abroad on the foreign policy and on the interest of the concerned parties in this case. When you have one French president like François Hollande, who says that he is ready to go back again to the UN Security Council and asking at the same time, waiting for the results of the investigation, the report of the UN inspectors, don't you have the impression that the Western camp uh, sounds very aggressive, but at the same time, they are scared to provoke a major crisis? What I'm trying to suggest is that in this case, and again as an observer, because I'm, I cannot comment on something that's not been done, has not been done, and I will come to it later on on what if this action takes place outside the Security Council. They need to consolidate the legitimacy, legitimacy basis of such decision, and in that case they need to have something from the Security Council that allows them to say to their own public, to their own public opinion, that you are on the right track, on the right side of the equation. John Kerry was in Paris the whole weekend. He said, Syria is our Munich. At the same time, he said, we cannot turn back from the atrocities committed by the Bashar al-Assad regime. We have to move forward. But at the same time, if there is no military intervention from the United States and its allies, don't you think that Bashar al-Assad will go on unpunished with his Iranian allies, Hezbollah, and the Occidental world will have lost his reliability and won't be credible anymore to defend freedom. The report is not supposed to say uh, who's responsible for this act. Uh, it's only supposed to, to say and to confirm that there has been or there has not been use of chemical weapons or any sort of uh, weapons of, of chemical origin. Apart from Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Turkey, ready to go in a military intervention, uh, a lot of Arabic countries are not ready for this military intervention. They are against it. So don't you think that they are scared that uh, a worse regime can be existing after Bashar al-Assad if he is overthrown? And at the same time, does Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, is not he right when he tells the Western world, he tells Obama, hey, listen, you are very nice people, but uh, you dropped support to Mubarak, you dropped support to Ben Ali, Gaddafi and the regime which have been succeeded to these regimes are worse dictatorships. Somewhere is Putin right. Uh, according to the Arab League decision uh, adopted on the 1st of September, even if some countries might go more than that, that's the basic de decision. Any military action should be based on either self-defense according to the Charter of the United Nations or within the context of the Security Council. Don't you think that to make sure that worse is not coming up uh, and is there still a chance, a hope, that Russian President Putin can exert pressure upon his allies, Syria, Hezbollah, Iran, um, and try to have them come to a negotiating table in Geneva Conference number two? Why not? What you are suggesting here is that to have always been on the record, the Secretary General of the Arab League has already contacted many times, has written many times to the UN Secretary General, to the President of the Security Council, to inform also the member of the Council on the necessity of convening the Security Council to adopt a resolution of cessation of hostilities, of fighting as a sine qua non condition, to go to the second point, which is a very important point, the uh, convening of Geneva, Geneva II Conference. There is not a military solution to the Syrian crisis, to the Syrian crisis. There is only a political solution negotiated by the Syrians for Syria. Even if we have a limited in time attack, targeted attack by the United States and their allies, don't you think there is a major danger that we have a broad, huge crisis breaking out in the whole Middle East? I think that any attack could really go into 
uh, a larger framework it could go beyond Syria because of the complexities of the geopolitics of Syria that makes for the for the very fact for the very unfortunate fact that the conflict over Syria is much more structuring of the outcome than the conflict in Syria itself.